back to MLG Columbus. The next game we're going to have is going to be Goon Squad versus A1. I'm down here with Damage Points. How are you doing, my friend? Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, I got an interesting quote from you, okay? Apparently you went from hopeless to hopeful two months ago. What, what, what happened? What changed? Well, in the beginning, it, you know, we started out really well, and I think that's really how any team gets together. Um, and then, of course, we went through a natural rough patch, and we were on the edge, you know. Um, but really, it just took a lot of dedication, motivation, and uh, a lot of sacrifice from these guys, and we, we got to where we wanted to be, so. You said your expectation is going to be top four. So I guess the question is, how easily are you going to roll over Goon Squad? Goons, we really have no experience against the Goons. We played them on GB one time, and, I mean, it was a close match. We won it, but, it, you know, it was a long time ago. So it's going to be interesting for sure. So do you know who the biggest threat from that squad is going to be? Have you got any expectations? Who do you need to shut down? Um, I think probably Summons has the most raw skill, um, but I have no doubt in the three guys behind me, so it's not going to be really an issue, I think. Fair enough. Uh, over from the other side, uh, you guys coming in very, very confident, I think it's fair to say, right? You, you seem very comfortable, ready. How was your practice? Great. Too easy. Anything they want to do is it's slight. All of them are slight. Wash. They got to go. It's, it, they, their time is done. It's over. They're, they're, they're done? They're, they're, it's over already? The, so should we just get the next game on main stage then? I'll be just telling them forfeit right now. Like, like give them an option type thing. Yeah, yeah. Give them an option to forfeit. Do, do you want to forfeit? Yeah, I, I've uh, been here, done this. I've lived on main stage for like seven years. So I'm a little, little concerned to see you guys' shakes here in a little bit. But we'll see what goes on. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you, you know, coming out talking a little bit of smack, that's kind of what we like, like to see. Is there anyone particularly from A1 that you're worried about, or is it just going to be an easy stroll in the park for you guys? A stroll in the park. A stroll in the park. A real easy stroll in the park. Is there anyone at all in this tournament that you're afraid of? No, not at all. Nobody. Coming here to win, that's it. It don't matter who thinks about us, what we do, how we play, how people, you know, judge us. It doesn't matter. It's about how we do this on the stage every time, so... I'm fine. We're fine. My whole team's fine. We're good. Fair enough. Well, uh, good luck to both of you. Fist bump, shake hands, get the game underway. It's time to go over to our casters for the game. I absolutely loved every single second of that interview. Frank KO with nothing but confidence, <laughs> and that's exactly what you need to get your teammates hyped. Look at that, like an easy walk in the park. Quote him on that one. He <laughs> said it here in the interview. So if things start to look awry, you can tell maybe they need to up their pace a bit. He called him, he called him washed, easy walk <laughs> in the park, and you have damage points saying, well, we'll see about that in a few minutes when you guys have the shakes because you guys are all new to the stage. I love I've it, been here, I've done that. It's very, so very well done interview. And that really sets the stage, does it not, for this matchup? This is one I had circled in the bracket, in my bracket predictions. A1, a potential upset over Goons. Goons is, of course, a very high seed in this tournament. Yeah. Uh, did very well in MES as well. But I think this A1 squad has a little something, in the, uh, a couple of tricks in their sleeve for sure. Look, when you're coming into an event of this scale and you've got to find scrim partners, you have once you know the bracket, you have to kind of pick and choose who you're going to verse to ensure that you don't give anything away before you get into these crucial games. So keeping these secret strategies, maybe a little push, maybe a little flank, you've been working on fine-tuning, now's the time to bust it out. Exactly, especially at the game type like execution, right? Exactly. Uh, you know, your, your trick strats are your trick strats. You need to keep them close to yourself. Yeah. Uh, select which teams you're going to run them against. I'm really expecting A1 to bring everything that they have right here. Big, big round two matchup for this squad. Of course, to lay down the history of this team, damage points uh, of a former Gears of War 2 pro player with Get Bronco. Got second place at MLG Anaheim 2009. Third place at MLG Orlando 2009. Took him a little bit of a break. Um, uh, Came back to the game, picked up a team of new players, two new players, playing with his old teammate in Legends as well, and they're looking to make some noise. He is a veteran. He's leading this team. He's not the strat caller, but he's definitely the emotional leader for this team. Yeah, we're going to be looking at a brief overview of the maps. You can see Clock Tower on your screen, and War Machine with a bit of a canal look to it here, but <laughs> should be War Machine and Gridlock <laughs> rounding that one out in the end. But kind of tell us, what are we going to expect to see on Clock Tower? It's usually that four top, but maybe the boom push, yep. maybe the nades, it's always up in the air, right? Yeah, it is. You know, if, if I'm A1, I, well, here's what I think. A1 likes to bang out. Goons likes to bang out. It's going to be a high, intense, balls-to-the-wall type of matchup. Yep. So I'm expecting four tops from both teams. I don't think, I, I think either team is very proud, and no team that's going to run a 2-2 is basically backing down and saying, I don't trust my shotgun skill to beat the other team. What I do want to expect, Summons. He, I believe he's the back pillar player for this team. He is hands down the best player in this match, in my opinion. He is so high skilled. If he's playing back pillar, expect him to push up, make some plays, very similar to how we saw Explosive do on the enemy squad. Look, there's so many different angles you can kind of cross here on Clock Tower. So it's going to be that team that can 
focus out the specific member, maybe go for those early pistol headshots. And that after that, you can just capitalize on the uh, player advantage, use that extra lance, use that extra pistol to uh, your benefit to kind of round it out here. But guys, we're getting underway with Goons taking on A1. It's Clock Tower. Take it away, my man. We're going to hop on board. We V1, the only summons, the largest YouTube following of any Gears of War Good top boy. player. He is unbelievable at this game. Getting some uh, congratulations tips as well. The game <laughs> making sure he knows it as well. Zen in the art of reloading. Every time <laughs> you play a new account, you get one of those busting out. But he's making his way up to that mid area. Going to get taken a full read. Franco does go down quite early. Drix actually soon to follow. They're coming in. The revive train not going to be strong enough. That's three members down four, if I counted correctly here. Wow. A1 Gaming, they're here to play Fallout. And there you have it. Brad gets up, and he's pointing right now. Oh there is the boy. hype, ladies and gentlemen. A1 with a very, very impressive first round. And you know what? They didn't do it like we thought they would with their shotguns. Yeah. That was Lancer fire. That was teamwork and crossing. Very well done and by uh, A1. A very good first round strat. Look, they're coming out strong here, just getting that cross. We saw they tried to, uh, the squad of goons, they tried to make that aggressive play up to the hammer burst, go for the cross, but in the end, it bit him in the ass and they kind of paid for it here. Let's see if A1 can make that happen once again. Lancer strong, smoke's coming through on board with Diligent. Has that snub pistol out looking for the headshot because one of those actors just blind firing off. Now remember, not too many bullets in your reserve. Summons gets taken uh, quite red. Kraz goes down actually. Can they capitalize on this? A very, very good pistol team firing from A1. Summons is going to stay patient. They're Ooh. just going to basically down out, triple down. Members of A1 all up to D points and crew to make a play here. They're in a 3v4. Damage points is full right. He's going to stay alive, but his teammate Diligent Soldier goes down. And just like that, damage points left alone in a 1v4. And it's going to be the exact opposite. It's going to be goons that come out huge with a good round number two over A1 Gaming. Straight away, back and forth rounds coming out of these two teams, both excelling on this clock tower. When the team fire is on point, you can see the enemy just start to drop like fly. So I want to see I want to see some cheeky shotgun rush. I want to see these guys kind of maybe break away from that meta strategy and kind of utilize that that like uniqueness that makes them them. Yeah, and if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be summons. He oh, is yeah. front spawn, but goes back pillar. Smoke out early. He likes to pistol cross from back pillar. Let's see what he's going to do in this round. It's going to be an aggressive push with the pistol. How many shots does he get to put in? He gets to put quite a few. Full red, though, and somehow Ooh. manages to stay alive is summons. Drix doesn't get it down on Diligent. Yeah, Diligent. Can his team revive him in time? The push may be coming through. Good shots on the play around that hammer, but Diligent down once again. The push trying to come out from Goons, actually blocking his player up in that cheeky little sniper spot. Can get him in the angle once again. Kraz goes down. Franco actually getting two massive kills for himself. That's going to open the round wide open. Here comes Goon securing round number three, taking the score two to one. And you hear them getting hyped as well. Yep. And that, what I liked about that round, you saw a little bit of everything. You saw a great team fire and crossing to start off the round. They got some early downs. And then they stayed calm. They didn't take the bait Not. of trying to go get the kills. They decided instead to cross. And then you saw them, of course, banging out with the shotguns to finish off the round. A good round number three from uh, that is Goons that's going to go up 2-1 to one right now. We're going to stay on board now with summons of Goons and see what he does back filler. Look, you heard it from the man himself down on the interview. Calm, cool, collected, walk in the park. Easy breezy, that's how Goons coming into this one and right away getting a very fast down onto Diligent. Let's see if they can capitalize. And outside of that first round, it has been all Goons right now. On board of summons, he's been pillar, one of the best Ooh. pistols in the game. Very good shots early on. Is he going to connect for a headshot? No, he has to back out to stay alive here. However, they do have the third down and Diligent wow. is out. Four versus three situation now for uh, goons right now in this situation. Literally giving no one on A1 a chance to breathe. Just raw aggression, crossfire on point. Poor man weapon side coming through for summons. He's got that scope in his hand, so let's see if he can make a play. And it looks like uh, A1 is backing out, resetting. They're going to be rotating down low, but they're not going to be able to grab that boom shot. Summons does have a sniper in his hands. So I'm not sure what the plan is Cheeky. there, as Summon is going to take the head clean off the shoulders of damage points. A good little quick shot from Summons. Yeah, looking to make some more shots. Nades has been picked up on the side. A1 Gaming whizzes past to take off an ear if Locus had him. Summons looking for that guy around the nades. Already got one headshot this round. Trying to get another one. Keeping good calls. That guy's just stuck in there at this stage. Exactly. Boomshot is grabbed as well. He's somehow actually able to get out. Not just yet. He's still running. He's a grenade, but yeah, his time is yeah. his, uh, it's running down. out here. They are just going to go for that player up top. Kraz can't stay alive for much longer. Drix gets the down on that one. Should have no trouble cleaning it up. Only one nade left in the back 
pocket of A1 Gaming and Goons looking to take a very early lead here. Three rounds to one. Kraz does go down. He's going to get up. He just gets to fight another day. He's going to get no. taken out immediately following, though. And I got to say, this Goons team is looking very good. Outside of a first round victory for A1 Gaming, where they really were able to steal around, Goons is they're rotating well. They're, we're seeing some good power weapon play. They're very, they're playing at a pro player level right now for a team that had never competed in the Gears of War Pro League. Look, that's exactly right. Once they're warmed up and ready to go, you can see the comms are on point, constantly keeping the marks up to make sure they know exactly where the enemy is running off to. But we are on board with damage points here. Let's see if A1 Gaming can kind of recuperate and, you know, just stem the bleeding right now because that's what they need to do. Yep, damage points, pistol out. He's going to be playing mid pillar. Get some good pistol shots back pillar. He's going to call that out. Do they? Are they going to be able to capitalize? No, his teammate instead is going to get oh, no. down by legend. Damage points trying to make something happen. He's going to get some good shots, but look at the team fire yep. from Goons. That is, the, that is what I mean by when I say they're playing on a pro player caliber level. Look at the team firing. And there's Diligent Soldier. Does get a headshot, though. Legend's going to down Ray Zill as well. So let's hop on board with Diligent. Trying to make his one. way up. Points is actually going to tap himself up. Now Goons forced to make an aggressive play. Summons gets a 1v1. Looking for more. Does get the down, but taken out in the process. Drix is there. Keeping his mate alive. Diligent coming up clutch here. A 2 versus 1 now in favor of A1 Gaming. Goons, they need to win this to take out the map. On board with Ray Zill. 1 versus 2 situation. And can he clutch it up? The 1v2, of course, is so hard to do. But A1 is trying to inch their way, claw their way back into this one. They're not going down without a fight. Razo's put a little bit of pressure here, high side. I like to play rather than going low and resetting. He's going to actually be the one that's the aggressor. And he's in a good position to clutch right now. All it takes is one back A. He's going to go for that in a very smart decision by A1 to back out here. He almost gets the back A. Here we go. Oh. Razo does get taken out by Diligent Soldier and Legend. So many opportunities to go off there, but just couldn't find it in the end. And the teamwork coming out of A1, keeping him at bay, getting those nice shots on point. Do take the round three to two now. Still leading other goons. One round to lock this one out. I gotta say, A1 has definitely put up a fight here on this one. We're gonna hop on board with D points. He's gonna be playing down low, so there you call it a down low strat, and we're gonna see it. A very aggressive down low strat. They're gonna be grabbing boom and snipe, but the crossfire, Diligent Soldier yep. does go down from Ray Zilla. Top on board with Ray as he's crossing from host spot. He's doing a great job. They're trying to go for that boom. Not gonna happen. Drix actually there to pick up Diligent. So A1 trying to uh, throw a spanner in the works, but Goons are a well-oiled machine and nothing can get in between them right now, but Damage Points looking to make a name for himself right now. Gets the double on Ray Zill. Huge play for A1 Gaming. Damage, shotgun, points right there. Formerly considered to be the best shotgun in Gears 2, and he's showing that he can still contend with the best of them in Gears War Ultimate Edition, especially with the shotgun out. He had such a good strafe back yeah. in the day. That was really what, what uh, separated him from some other players there. And you saw some, some life and damage points. The veteran with a huge double kill to keep his team alive here. Oh my goodness, Max. I think this might be our first round seven. It if, could, if it, could, happens. it could very well be. A1 Gaming currently up 3-2 to two in terms of teammates, but the boom actually comes through. Damage takes a lot of points. Funnily enough, Franco uh, does get the down, gets the execute. They still one boom on the in the hands of Rix. Yeah, I spoke way too soon. I actually did not realize that Drix had a boom shot in his hands, so... He picked it up. Two booms should be two kills. He already kept the ratio at 100% with getting that first kill. Ooh. And now, ooh, he's a little bit of a risky boom there. Could have yeah, killed himself. Definitely. Not many players have the boom shot up in host spot very often, so they don't really know the angle. You could play with fire in that situation. you got to be careful. Drix has those smoke grenades as well to kind of cross off any field of vision, allowing a uh, goons to maybe get themselves that sniper, get all the power weapons to work with. A1 Gaming being spotted out here, but that boom coming from up top can be risky, especially when shooting over that wall. You said the potential to be able to accidentally kill yourself here, but now Franco does have that sniper as well. Making his way down to ensure that none of the A1 gamings can get more than they're entitled to. Yep, so many power, all the power is essentially in the hands of goons right now. One boom shot left, of course, 11 sniper shots for Franco. Staying patient, they know they have the upper hand in this one, and they are definitely playing to win in this situation. A grenade's gonna go off, it's not gonna connect for a kill, but Frank has an opportunity here. Oh, misses that one just but barely. And now Legendary is gonna get himself stuck in the frag grenade area. Yeah, remember, they still have a boom on Drix, so if Legendary stays in there for too long, he might actually oh. get himself in a bad position. Boom comes through, actually gets the down, and no one on A1 is in a position to save him. And so that was a 3v2 turn into a 2 versus 1 in favor of Goons, and straight away, they're going right for that boom. Yeah, and I gotta say, a poor decision by Legendary to get himself stuck 
in the frag grenade spot. However, we do have an opportunity to push here as Kraz. Can he clutch this? And Boom's gonna be right behind him. The Boom's gonna actually miss. So he oh, needs to keep playing aggressive. But unfortunately, oh, he has no, he's to out reload. Of bullets. And that is it. Oh, that was unfortunate. The chase was real. But in the end, Drix is able to turn it on, get the down, get the kill, take the map. And there you go, Goons coached by the one, the only Sleepy Time. Sleepy Time, of course, a two-time ESL finalist. There you he go. made it to the season one and season two finals with his squad, Dream Team. He's coached.